Good day, family and friends. Welcome once again to Smoke Pot and Balance Kitchen. We're here with your boy Smoke Pot, and I'm gonna take you down on a journey as usual on one of those memory lanes. All right, today what I'll be doing for you is what we call in Jamaica turn carmel or ton carmel. If you want to hear the patwa. In the Spanish speaking countries, they call it palenta. All it is, is basically cornmeal cooked at in different ways. So I'm gonna be taking you through and showing you how I make mine. You know I do a lot of variation with my thing. But remember before I get any further, remember, subscribe, share, like, give a thumbs up. Make sure your notification is on so you'll see it whenever there's a video. I'm throwing out my videos. You need to go check them out, all right? So the first thing I'll be doing with this turn coming that I'll be doing is you get some water boiling just for those who know how to make rice and beans gungo rice and beans all right listen to me carefully this is the way i do for those who know how to make rice and beans especially gungo rice and beans we're going to be flavoring up our sauce just the same way as you as you would do um gungo rice and peas maybe just a little more butter but that's what we're gonna do so the first thing i'm gonna be adding i have here some coconut cream i have here some coconut cream we're gonna add this pour boiling water that we have just like so be nice and secondly i'm gonna be adding as i'm saying just like you just season rice and bean some green scotch bonnet pepper the reason for that I'm not looking for the heat. I'm looking for the flavor. So when you want the heat to use the ripe scotch bonnet pepper, when you're looking for just flavor, you can use the green one. So I'm gonna add the green scotch bonnet pepper. I'm gonna have some scallions, but I cut them up real small, real fine, all right? Then I had some garlic, not too much. Cut them up real small, just the same. And then I'm gonna have some thyme, all right? The next step from there is I'm gonna be adding a little pimento seed, okay? So I'm gonna be adding a little pimento seed. As I'm saying, just think about you making rice and beans. Just a little, it's about a quarter teaspoon of rice in half time to that. All right. Next now, I'll add just a little bit of salt. Here I have some pink Himalayan salt. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Okay, that's about a half teaspoon right there. I'm gonna be adding a little black pepper. The same amount, about a half teaspoon. All right, that should be good. All right, we're gonna continue. I'm gonna be adding a little all-purpose seasoning right a little all-purpose seasoning so i'm going to be adding one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning all right i'm going to be adding a little margarine butter about what we call a half stick in jamaica so whatever you, you butter you like the flavor from you can use that one all right add a little margarine butter. I'll also add a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of coconut oil. And this is the real coconut, I'm not talking the, the, the other generic one. This is the real coconut oil. I'm just gonna be adding a little bit. I'm gonna maybe, I would say maybe two teaspoon. All right. All right, that's good. Now, I'm gonna be leaving this to come to a, a boil for about 15 minutes, wherein everything in the pot is just one, right? And after that, after I created that sauce, then I'll go further to add the cornmeal. So see you back in a few. So now that I have my sauce all well set and ready to go, I'll be adding my cornmeal now. As you can see, everything has come together. The scallion, the peppers, everything is just in one. So now I'll be adding my cornmeal. And before I go any further, I want to give a big shout out 
to my cousin Karen and all the other people who called me or texted me and requested um, this dish, all right? So I hope you enjoy it and um, I'll talk to you soon. So now I'll be adding the cornmeal. In this pot that I'm using, I'll be adding about a pound. So what I do, while adding the cornmeal, I slowly stir in. I'm using about a pound. Now one thing with cornmeal, it absorbs liquid very, very quickly. All right? But at the same time, you want everything to be cooked. Right? So as soon as you get, I use about a pound of cornmeal right there. As soon as you get to a point where the cornmeal starts sticks like that, as I said, you stir it properly. All the grains got to be cooked out. So this is a little sort of patience game. You know, you got to continue stirring your cornmeal, right? You can turn the temperature down a little. Right, now it's on high. I turn it down a little. And you continue to get everything in. It's got to be cooked for maybe at least about uh, 10 minutes. Right, so. As you see, all the liquid has already evaporated, right? So what I have done, I have some hot water boiling. So I just add a little more to what I have right here. Just add a little more, all right? You don't worry, it won't get spoiled. You add a little more water, about a half cup right there. Then continue stirring once again. I'm saying you can see if you see carefully, you see raw grains. And look, you see raw grains, but you need all of those to not only get soaked in the liquid, but actually to cook for a few minutes. All right, so I turned it down, so I'm going to leave it to simmer for a second. But while doing that, you see raw grains on the spoon. You need everything to be in the liquid and you need everything to actually. Okay, next thing, get some more margarine. Can you add some more margarine to it? Okay, one more stir. And then now we're gonna leave this. We're gonna leave this for five minutes, five to seven minutes on the slow flame. And then we'll come back and check to see what the grains are like. So I'll see you in a sec. Yeah, so now I'll be checking back um, a few minutes and I'll be checking back. But um, as I say, continue to check on it quite regularly because it itches quickly. And as I'm saying, you're also looking to make sure you ain't got, you ain't got no raw grains. All right, this look like it's, it's properly cooked, but as you can see, it still have a little liquid in it, a little more than it should have. So I'll just leave it for the next few minutes until this liquid has evaporated and then we're good to go. And today I'll be plating with some special goodies. I'm not even telling you until I'm plating. It's a surprise, but it's part of what usually comes when my dad is having this meal, one of the things that he usually eats with this. So you'll be getting a surprise in a few, but stay tuned. Guys, now that I have everything simmered and settled, the turn cornmeal looks perfect right now and it tastes more than perfect. Before I go any further, I'm reminding you from now, if you like my videos, subscribe, share, like, give a thumbs up, leave your notification button on. So now I'll be plating. Um, what I did, I made a little vegetable. You know why plating, I like it to look sexy. So I did a little um, vegetable, but also I made some cow skin. Reason being, my daddy's favorite dish was turn cornmeal with things like cow skin and so on. And um, he, he loves it so much. So I said, let me go ahead, push forward and do some cow skin to go with this. And today I have a very special guest with me. We'll be doing some tasting. So let me just go ahead and make her meal because her mouth is watering right now. So as you can see, it's not too soft. 
it's it's on a firm side which is that's how it's supposed to be you're not trying to make cornmeal porridge right so we put a little right there and then now to make the plate i'm going to be adding some of the cow skin that i made i made it in a little brown stew sauce and i'll just be having some right now and then my very special guest today is natalie and natalie will be telling us exactly what it tastes like so remember today i'm doing the famous turn cornmeal in my own special way and this is what it looks like and now wow. natalie is going to tell us exactly what's going on over here it definitely looks great let me see Wow, this is really good. Wow, it would really definitely taste the flavor, the scallion, thyme. Oh yeah, the cow skin definitely. This is great. Beautiful. Definitely have you ever, have you ever had that before? Um. The um, cornmeal, no. The cow I have. Okay, okay. And okay. it's definitely delicious. Well, remember, guys, what I did, as you saw in the video, you can go back. That's my authentic way of cooking it with my own little twist to it. So, hopefully, when you try it, you will enjoy it also. Please comment and let me know exactly what it's like for you, all right? So, guys, peace out, bless, and stay safe. Thank you, Natalie. One love. Bye.